ever seen a samurai play the flute? Or champion the delicate art of flower arranging? What image comes to mind when you think of samurai? Warriors? Swords? Discipline? As the battles of the medieval period faded from Japan's memory, a romanticised image of Japanese warriors or samurai took shape. As that image spread overseas, its distance from historical reality increased, and the samurai's complex, changing culture was reduced to a one-dimensional view of intense men with swords. And Hollywood hasn't helped. The real history of the samurai is something much more complex. 800 years ago, the samurai did fight battles and carry swords, but they also carried bows and feasted, recited Buddhist poetry and celebrated religious rituals. In times of peace, the samurai emerged with new roles as bureaucrats and champions of culture. As the samurai changed from warriors to something else, they cultivated their own image by preserving records of the past. At the same time, the theatre, illustrated books and art spread legends of the samurai. Authors and kabuki actors glorified past warriors, and the great artist Hokusai created his own image of the samurai through sketchbooks. They were read widely in Japan and exported to Europe. When Japan started a modern army in the 1870s, the samurai became obsolete, but the legend was just beginning. Books and prints had spread far beyond Japan's borders. Centuries of changing history collapsed into a few memorable images. Can we rediscover the samurai between history and legend? Come and see for yourself at Cambridge University Library until May 28th.